Hi, my name is Simon Bruno. Welcome back to Opus Magnum. Well, we've done all the chapters and, and the uh, appendix. Now we're off to the journal entries. Uh, this is actually the most recent one, so... To issue number one. Van Burl... Is there a description here? No, okay. Van Berlo's Wheel. In this special issue, we celebrate the accomplishments of Karis Van Berlo, one of the greatest pioneers of alchemical engineering. Through perhaps the best known... Though perhaps best known for inventing the wheel that bears his name, Van Berlo's other contributions to the field were argu arguably just as important, and his work forms a large part of later editions of the Codex of Alchemical Engineering. So we got like chains, all sorts of stuff. Starting with this one, that's really tiny text. Um, everything around us is made from combinations of small number of underlying elements. By studying these elements and their transmutations, the alchemist learns to understand the workings of the universe itself. Asmodeus, Asmodeus number two. Okay, so that's what we start with. No, that's what we end with, and we got this. So you need a wheel to make a wheel, I guess. <laughs> so that's you know essentially what we're making. We're making a wheel out of this. All right, um, well, given that it's this sort of thing, um, just based off previous experience, we know that you need this little bit. Uh, we will need a binder and we will need a copier like this. And I'm not sure where it ends up, somewhere around here. Um, Cause you know, we're gonna put a salt here in the center Grab, rotate, grab, rotate, and then the very last one we'll grab here, flip it, rotate it here, and grab and put the last one in. So I'm thinking um, I'm gonna make the salt the first, or if it's here, well, yeah. So we have to be able to get in here, so we can rotate like this. Just making sure. Oh, area's back. Okay, that's nice. Um, So again, we're gonna we're gonna end with salt. So we're gonna start somewhere in the middle. I don't know. Pick red, I guess. Um, so we'll start with red. Well, I guess first it is salt. So uh, let's swap those up. I want number one on top. Uh, plus. Da, da. Okay, so salt is in the middle here. Now we need to. I, like I said, we're going to start with red, so we'll go uh, one, two, three, four. Or actually, we could, given that there's more colors, let's swap it. Because at the very last thing, I can still do that. Okay, so let's do that instead. Um, and since I'm going plus, I won't have to worry about where that starts there, I guess. Uh, so let's just... Well, I, uh, shoot. Um, I do need to add an extra turn, though. Alright, and then... It is just one, two, three. Is there any reason why I couldn't do... This? Because we're rotating about that, and then... There's less movement here. I kind of like that a lot. Alright. Alright, let's... Uh, let's do that in sets. Now I only have to rotate twice again. Okay. Because it's in the same spot. Now this next one is only rotating twice. And again, we're going to start with fire. Now from there, it's let go, go positive, grab, pivot right, restart. And then it's just do that uh, four more times. Uh, well, that's one, two, three, four, five. And the order matters. Um, it looks like we're just going to go around. So after you go here, we'll just make you rotate right. Uh, ro rotate right. Rotate right. Rotate right. And just follow it around, right? Uh, for the last one, we're going to have to grab it here. Um, so instead of that, we're going to let go. Or, or we're probably not going to be able to rotate that last time, are we? No. Okay. So at that point, we need to rotate right, grab this thing, then pivot it, go negative, and 
right? Well, this last one actually needs to be assault, so, um... Which I did. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, now... If I just put it here, I should be able to just rotate it. One, two, three? No, just two. Let go and restart. And you are going to rotate right one more time. To end back on fire, right? You didn't, you didn't, and, oh, I, I pivoted it. Whoops, uh, there we go. Too soon, gotta wait till the very last bit, okay. And that is it. Not exactly the best area, um, I suppose I could, uh, let go and end it here. So instead of just continuing to rotate, I will um, uh, basically it's going to be let go before that. Let go, go right, grab it, pivot it, uh, Go positive, and that's it. I need to see that one more time. Okay. So we're pivoting it. Oh, we can just drop it right there. Okay. And then um, release and let go. Cut down the air quite a bit. It went from 33 to 26. Is that area right there? That is getting used. Is there any way to avoid that? Maybe push it forward first and then pivot it? Now it's 27, so that's worse because it's... All right, we will let it run. That area is one point away from being in that little little bar, but that's a whole range is a range of twelve. So, I'm pretty sure cost is the lowest, just because again previous experience. We know that if we're making a circle like this, you need some sort of track to get that last piece into place. Okay, well, that is the first one already, so let's move on to Verlo Bambrillo's chain. Oh, it's the same quote. Okay. Uh, so we're making the... Oh, yeah, continuous chain. So obviously, the each cycle is going to be four salts and one of each element. We need one of those again. Um, interesting. So, need a binder, need a copier, and an arm. Okay, so trying to visualize it. Am I able to do this? How much does that wheel cost? The wheel costs 30. Okay, that's... I was thinking, well, I'll just put a wheel on top and just make the shape, but... Uh, can we make, how do we make the ship? The, if it was just a long line, it'd be really easy, but it's not. Um, so if it's... Well, we could do, we could go up, I guess. The problem with doing this... Alright, so let's try picturing it. So, if it's the previous one, it's going to be wrapped around... I, I can't rotate this, shoot. Uh, if it's coming from the previous one, there's going to be a salt here pointed this direction. And we're attaching a green. We need to grab it by the... Wait. Okay, well, let's think of something else. Let's say the previous one is here. We're attaching a green. Uh, can we pivot it up and bring it around so that's a 
you know, green and a, it's a, well, it'd be this. Can we then grab that? Well, no, no, because we just, uh, we just attached, sorry. Okay, so we're going to assume, well, okay, we can do finish it here, I guess. So the first one will be to attach that. And then it's going to be to rotate it down, attach a green, grab the green, bring it here. The green is here. The one it's attached to is here and then that's there. Okay, so that's, I don't know if I can do it without a track. Um, so now if I just assume that the previous one's there, first thing I do is going to attach it. Um, and then rotate it down to attach the green. Then I'm going to bring the green here and pull it back, attach the next one, pivot it. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, that's, I don't think that's too bad. Uh, let's swap these again. So grab. Then it's going to be green. Okay, so if this is white, the next white is here. Uh, so I don't want to pivot it twice. Oh wait, I was pivoting it up, wasn't I? Is that correct? No, that's not correct. So it was just one pivot, or the, the that second pivot's correct. I need to go back, let go. Okay. Now it's just going to be grabbing another one, so I need to rotate you to the right, right here, so I can grab Rotate up twice. Okay, so that's the second one. Now we're gonna go positive and we're going to pivot it left twice. Correct. Now we're going to attach blue. Yep. Now it's the salt. And similar to the last one, we need to. Um, pivot it down, go positive, because we need to attach the, um, this teal color on it, so I need to make you rotate right somewhere. Okay, so that's attached. I need to pivot it up, rotate right, pivot it up again. I, I need to attach another salt. Release run. Release it. Go back. You now need to get over here, so I'll make you go to right. Because you're going to grab a salt now. And then you're going to go positive, tweak it, restart. And you restart wherever you were, right? Oh, um, I need to, right, <laughs> okay, I'll uh, let go, go positive, grab, rotate, and then restart. I gotta get you pointing in the right direction. Uh, pivot, not rotate, sorry. And then it should be a repeat. Yep, all right, that looks like a winner to me. All right, uh, we'll let it run. There we go. The area is insanely high, but <laughs> as is the nature with these when you're doing lowest cost. <laughs> Alright, that's it for that one. On to Reactive Chamber. Or Reactive Cannabar. Oh, I, I thought that was just uh, Salt. Apparently it's Quicksilver as well. Okay. So it's just alternating Quicksilver. Uh, this one we might be able to do just as is. 
I usually like binding on top for flipping and stuff. Uh, let's see, there's some more salt. Interesting. So it's two salt to start with. And then it's uh, Quicksilver. Rotate it. Wait, it's Quicksilver. Oh, interesting. I have to leave this here. Um, if I do this, I won't be able to get the molecule back. So, uh, is there a way for me to manipulate that? Uh, first things first, you know, this is pretty standard, straightforward. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. So that's the two. I would just pivot up and grab that, I think, right? Oops. Uh, So there's that, but now I need to get a salt over here. I, huh? Interesting. How can I make it in sections? Can I make no with it alternating like that? That kind of complicates things, doesn't it? Is that really gonna force me to use a track? I know I can do it with the track. I just kind of strange that I could do it without but if it's alternating I can't I can't get these out so oh um okay so let's go right one to pivot it uh, twice three times okay now I want to let go, go here, grab, pivot it. Okay, so this was the central piece. Now I'm gonna go here. That's not the right angle for that. Hmm. No, I, I can't build it around me like that. I need to go up. I need to go up in circular. So let's add a track. Build it there. Cause then it's just cycling back and forth and yeah, alright. Uh well then I'm gonna get rid of you and go like that, because you were a lot closer. Alright, so first things first, we're gonna do the same thing we just did. We're gonna do salt, uh, up to go positive, drop it, go negative, pivot it. And it's uh, one more of the Quicksilver. So, uh, well, I need to go with that. Grab positive, one, two, three. Go a negative, pivot it, and that should do the last link. Then, what would be the quickest way to would be to um, what happens if I just rotate it right? And if I go positive, I can just dump it there. I I didn't see I didn't see the orientation. Hold on. Uh, so this is like that. Okay, and restart. Yeah, a lot easier with the track. I don't know how you would do that without the track. And I suppose you really, you could build it the other way too. There's no reason you couldn't build it the other way. In fact, that might even be preferable to build it the other way. I might uh, do that given how quick this one was. Because there's four rotations there, there's three rotations there. I mean, this one's always going to be three. But the other one could be two and could be less, so um, I am going to, wow, look at that area. Each one of those is six and a half, so between six and 12, something like that. So yeah, let me, I'm gonna change that quick. I'm gonna make it go the other way. Um, so the first bit's the same, but. There, I did not take that long at all.
Uh, wait a minute. I could make it even better, actually. Um, I could do this. There's no reason not to have that there. It's never going to touch it. And I could have this, right? It's so much less turning. So much optimization. Um, except for instead of letting go, we're now we're going to uh, rotate right, pivot it, and let go. A little bit more efficient. There we go. That's better. Slightly better. There, see? A little bit of optimization there. We took off about 70 cycles, and we also cut the area down to 25, so... Actually, the area was over 35, I think, too. I had let it run once at 27, but... Anyways, so that's it for that one. Uh, two more! Silver Caustic. Interesting. Uh, so they give us all four reagents. It's just a matter of combining them in such a way... Given that there's four and we're combining it like this, we probably need some sort of track. This we can grab here and rotate. This we can't do anything with you there, so you need to be in a different spot. Um, like that-ish. Uh, combining will probably do something up here, I think. Oh, I have uh, silver. Fuck. All right, well, if we're doing... Oh, wait. Oh. Okay. Um... I think easiest would just be to attach it here, stick it there, grab the Quicksilver, bump it there. So, yeah, I don't need anything extra. I should be able to do it like this. Um... Uh, Point it down here. Move it up, do that. Flip it around. Okay, this is going to be a problem where it is. Because uh, I'm... Let's see if I just... I'm thinking of doing the middle part first. Or do I want to do the... The red part. Stick the red part... Like this. Would I be able to rotate that out? I think I should be able to. If it's like this, I'll be able to rotate it out. Get this. Like that. Attach the blue. Uh, rotate it like that. Rotate it like this. I can get that on. And then just... I can't do that. I can't do that last move. Well, if, what if we get this on first. Then attach that. Ah, there we go. Okay. Okay. So basically you bring the blue up, you do that part first, you slide it over, you do that, and then where do you put it? That's the next thing, where do you put it? Be cool if you could just go, well it'd be something more like this and then rotating in place. It'd be cool if I could get that here. I could finish it there. Now the question is, what do I do with you? Um, I need to, uh, is there any way I can reach you like this? What about sticking it on the end? What does that do for me? Nothing. Well, that's the same as this then. Like that would be doable because I could get that up there and... Okay, so that, that's, that part's doable. It's finding a place for this. Um, again, easy solution, there. Done and dusted, you're done. Cause this then you can rotate out, this you can rotate out, that you can pull out, that you can rotate out. I mean, the trick is, can we do it like this? All right. I'll even put that down there. Okay, well now I can just do it like, I mean, could I even do it like this now? Grab one, two, three. Grab one, two, three. Because it's it's the same, really. Uh, and then now I can get that right away and just attach them. Okay. 
So now that I, oh wait, I still need, uh, I'll need to do that so I can um, finish it somehow. I have no idea, something like that. All right, I guess we could do that. Yeah, so I, sh I yeah, we can do something like that. How is it gonna, I don't know how it's gonna end, so. Uh, so first we're going to I guess we'll upgrade that thing right away. Stick it in place, attach a red. Um, get a salt, attach a salt, move it out. Attach a quicksilver. Um, grab it by the quicksilver, push it, gr grab that. Um, be in the right place for that, I guess. Rotate it around, I could just rotate it around. Grab the blue, get the blue in place, pivot about the blue, attach a salt, attach that. Now, what would the easiest thing for me to do? Um, actually, I could, um, given that it's going to end like this and it's going to start like this, I could just put this out here, can I? I just have to be kind of careful, I guess, um, because it's going to be... Well, if I rotate there, that's going to change that, isn't it? Ah, that's interesting. Um, I'd have to pivot it first, then rotate it, then rotate it. Okay, so that's not going to work like that. I mean, I could move it here, rotate it down, pivot it up, and just end it there. Okay, let's go with that. Um, I don't know how to make it, I don't know how to use two track. I don't know how to do it with two track. I can do it three. But two track, this one has an issue, so. Let's go with that. Uh, what? I have no idea really where I want to start with. Um, I... I don't know. Let's start down here. Uh, well, no, we're going to start with this. I we just won't use the starting positions. So that's fine. Uh, so because this is there, I actually do need to attach it first. I can't just do it right away. So uh, we'll grab it. Uh, we'll go positive. All right. So far, so good. Okay, you're in the right spot. I need to pivot twice and go negative so now I can grab the quicksilver. Now, actually given I'm doing three quicksilvers, I kinda wanna start on quicksilver so I can just restart. Um, so first step will be to rotate right. Um, at that point, you rotate negative, let's go back to start. What? Oh, okay. Um, so we're gonna grab, we're going to Go positive, rotate left, let go, and start. So we're going to just do this. Um, one, two, three, four times. One, two, three, four. Uh, the, shit. The last one I'm not going to restart, but. Um, and then we're going to grab it here. Wait, shit, where are we? Okay, yeah, okay, so we're here. We're gonna grab it here, we're going to attach the salt on it. So we're going to grab it, and we're going to, what does it look like? Is that the right one for salt? Yeah, okay, so we're gonna put a salt right here, we're gonna let go. Uh, rotate down, go positive, grab the salt. And we're going to we're here, right? So we need to go in negative. And two rotations. Let go. Go in negative again, grab, go positive, let go. Now we're gonna grab the quicksilver. We're going to go positive, rotate twice into place. And that should be the first half. So now I really wanna grab it about this. So one. I kind of thought I was going to be holding it there. I thought this is going to be like right there so I could just flip it in twice. But uh, anyway, so let's go one, two. I'm holding it here. One, two, and then pivot it twice. I think that'll bring it back so I can grab it. What? That's still not enough. Jeez. You're really not facing the wrong way. There we go. Okay, now let go. 
Uh, actually, hold on. Where am I? Where's the arm? I mean. Okay, we need to go negative then. Let go, go negative. Rotate up, grab it, go positive. And then now we should be able to rest. Okay, well, let's not do that. Let's just rotate, uh, go to blue, go negative. So that should be attaching to blue. Now we're going to pivot that up a couple times. On this one, this one needs to be assault. So we're, we're here. We need to pivot left twice. Positive grab, assault. Uh, go back negative with it and two rotations, let go. Go negative, grab, go positive, let go. Actually restart because we're going to grab a quicksilver. Go positive, rotate it up into place. All right, that is the finished molecule then. Um, what? <laughs> what the fuck is that shit? All right, the blue, you need to pivot somewhere. You're not looking the right way. Um, when did I drop that? <laughs> God. Okay, right here. Now it should look a little better. What? Oh, shit. I have it mirrored. Ah, so when the red wasn't looking correct, that was that was not just me being silly. It was supposed to be the other way. Okay. So when and where did I mess that up? Well, this part's obviously fine. Ah, there. I need to twist that before letting go. Um, right here. So that should fix the red part. Oh, no. Now the mock is going to look a little different. So, um, that's correct. Okay, so it is looking like I was expecting. One, two, three. Okay, it's only three of those pivots now. And now it's just rotate up. Grab it. Actually, you're already in the right spot, aren't you? Yeah, you're already in the right spot, so we can go straight to the grabbing of the blue. So after you let go, um, this is the blue grab. Um, I'm facing here, we need to go... Ah, oh, shit. Okay, I, I let go, I need to go right twice and positive. Okay. And that should line up with the blue then. Or that should be grabbing the blue then. No, you didn't pivot it enough. Oh, hey, what are you doing on the end there? All right, grab a salt, move it, grab a quicksilver. Okay, one. Oh, let's rotate two and pivot. I could go again. Pivot, let go and release. And that should be the molecule then. All right, and we'll let it play then. And that's really, really hard to judge that too, because each of these ticks is 50. That's a dead center of that, so. Like I said, the only way I can conceive this being cheaper, because you definitely need at least two pieces of track given how much stuff is here, is just two pieces of track, but I don't know how to deal with the fourth one and this molecule, because as you see, there's just so much 
movement and flipping around. Like we managed to get out of this, and we could probably get out of this. Here, let's save it before I fiddle with it some more. Like this, we can probably stick out somewhere. This we only need um, to be close. Where are you? But this needs to be elsewhere because you can't access those three. Could that be there? Is there a way for me to reach that at all? I'm going to say that three track is, is the best you can do with that. Whoops. All right. So I can get rid of that. And then like usual, with, oh, whoa. like usual with most of these things, as I'm editing the video, I, what? I don't see, oh, interesting. Interesting, okay. Whoa, uh, that's a little mind blowing here. Um, so these, so this red is on the left side, this red's on the right side. There's always two attached to the reds and then the other two are kind of filling the space. Okay. Weird, 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 weird. Okay, so we need binder. Salt maker. Okay, how how do we approach this? Okay, um, can can we build that molecule like that? Actually, I think I'm probably gonna do something like that. And the salt, <laughs> shit. Nah, I'm I'm gonna go straight for a track. I think. Okay. So with the track, I can do a lot of stuff. In fact, I could. Um, um, I could do that and that and even have that, right? I could have the salt right in here and have full control over it. Okay, so that can allow me to get gold on either side. All right, now it's just a matter of doing it, I guess. Um, would I rather have that up there and like that here? I, I have no idea how these things are gonna end. Um, so let's let's start, I guess. Uh, let's do this one. Um, start with that. Flip it out. Add the gold. Add there, the red. Move it. Add the red on the other okay. side. Grab it. Flip. I think I think that's how how I will end it like that. Okay. Oh boy. All right, let's start with red because I'm going to be needing a lot of it. Um, so this one I said I was going to start from this end and really that's just a lot of salt. So um, uh, make the uh, salt here, add a red, grab a salt, and then I need to flip it. So I'm, I'll be grabbing out of that. So, okay. Uh, let's see, so go positive, one, two, three, let go, go positive, wait, I have no way to not get assault the way it is right now, or I could just do that, okay, let's worry about that later, let's, let's get the molecule done, that's all, that's all that matters, okay, uh, so anyways, we're starting on the red, pivot it like two or three times. Let go, grab it by this. Pivot it, go positive, let go. Uh, rotate left, go negative, grab the gold, put the gold in place. So now we have this part. We need to probably move it. Go positive, uh, grab a red. That is now attaching the red. Easiest would be to just flip it up. Release, grab a salt. Uh, go positive. One, two, three. Let go, grab the red. Rotate the red. Pivot it. Oh, shit. 
That actually needs to be a red. Uh, okay, so don't do that. Go this. Uh, one, two, three, four. I forgot. I'm making this part. Okay, that's right. Okay. Now we need to pivot it and move it negative, actually. And reset, grab another red. One, two, three, four. Now we need to let go. Go negative, grab, go positive, flip it. Because I need to get to the other side of the molecule. Let go, go negative, grab it, go positive, flip it. Oh, you're not going to like this, are ya? That sucker's going to end up right here. Um. Alright, let's make the gold there then. <sighs> Shit. Or, um, is there any reason why you couldn't do this? Go positive and then rotate it in place. This needs to be assault. Okay, now we need to let go. Go right or left, grab this, pivot it. So it's pointing here, now it's gonna be pointing, pointing. It's pointing here, now it's pointing here. We rotate it, pivot it again. Let go, go left, grab it. Uh, nope, nope, uh, let go, go negative, then grab it, go positive. I'm having trouble visualizing where it's going. Okay, we're gonna go positive, and then we're gonna flip it and restart. Okay, this one needs to be a fire, so we'll go one, two, three, restart. Oh wait, now we need to do something with it. Um, pivot it, let go. Go negative, grab, go positive, then let go. This one needs to be a salt, negative. I need to put the salt here, so I'm gonna go positive, rotate, and then restart. This should be one full cycle then, or one half cycle. Okay. Now, easiest thing for this one would be just to go and grab it here and rotate it into place. So let's go. Let go. Go negative, grab it, pivot into place. That's this one. Restart. Okay, there's one. Second one. Um, let's see. Do the same three thing here, except at the end it's gonna here. I can then grab, I, I with that, my arm will be here. It'll be here. I can then just grab a gold, push it, grab a fire. Oh, this is kind of funky. Um, grab a fire, flip it up, attach a fire, and then bring it back, attach a, bring it here, attach a fire. And then it's going to end something like this, I think. Okay. Okay. So similar to last time, we just need to get a, a set of three and then go positive and restart because now we've got this front part done. Got the track, might as well use it. Okie dokie. Whoops. Uh, I didn't I didn't start the next cycle. Here we go. Okay, um, one, two, three. All right, so that's the fire. I think we'll just do this side first. So if it's pointing here, we need to point it here, here. Pivot left twice, restart, grab, oops, grab a fire. This time we're going left with it. Uh, we're going to, I need to get, I need to pivot your right twice and go negative, restart, right? And then this one needs to be a salt. 
So we're going to grab it, go right, negative. Uh, we need to rotate it in here, so we need to go left twice. Positive, left, let go. Go right, grab, pivot. Uh, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I should go negative, grab it. Still need to pivot it and then go positive, right? Yeah, I need to pivot it, rotate it right, let go. Grab a red, one, two, three. And then that I'm attached here, we need to. Ah, shit. It's so hard to keep all this in your head. Okay. Now we need to pivot that one. Well, I need to let go. Um, I need to rotate right, go negative, grab it. Now we're going to pivot it, move it, move it positive. Is it only one pivot or is it two? Uh, it's two. And then we'll let go, grab a salt. That salt needs to come in from the left side, so we will... Uh, go back positive. No, wait. It needs to come in from this side, so I need to left twice, positive left. Ooh. I uh, didn't need to do that. I can just do it right where I was sitting. Okay. Perfect. Uh, so we're gonna let go, we're gonna grab it about this one. Uh, rotate. Um, and then I think I need to pivot it. All right. And there you have it. In fact, they're, they're pointing the same direction in the end. I just noticed that. Well, that's lovely. All right, we will let it run. Alrighty then. No way that's the lowest area. No way. Too much moving around. The cost goes from zero to... Oh wow, this is, this is just a big range. Do it at 50. I mean, mine's at 50. Jeez. And just given that there's three spaces or three things to do with it, you need a track in order to get around that. Unless you do a lot of manipulation swinging your molecule around to try and uh, use that salt or the glyph of uh, cal calcification elsewhere. Nah, because there's a lot. Nah, no. I'm pretty sure that's it. All right, so that is it for issue number one of the journal. Um, I am going to be going back and looking at this one specifically because I have an idea for how I might be able to do it with one track. Uh, but I'm not going to put that in this video. So if you'd like to see that uh, the lowest cost solution that I've come with all these, I do have a link in the description. And that would include the updated one of this one if I do find a way to make it less costly. And any of the ones that I um, have covered in these uh, playthrough videos that may be less or I may find a better way or more efficient way to do, to do them later. So that playlist will be the, the most up-to-date um, solutions that I have for the, the lowest cost. Anyways, in the next video, we're going to be going into issue number two. These look really interesting. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, anyway, 
Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.